What makes Martha Curtis's story so remarkable is more than what comes from her violin. Listen to her play for a moment, and then we'll tell you what it is she has overcome that makes her story so remarkable. This is also Martha Curtis, just six years ago on videotape. She's having an epileptic seizure. How did this Martha Curtis become this Martha Curtis, a solo violinist? That's our story. Cleveland's Severance Hall echoes with the memory of a lot of great music. But this evening will be like no other. Martha Curtis, an epileptic, is about to perform for the doctors who saved her memory. A decade ago, she was a professional violinist until she started having seizures on stage. When I was in the middle of something beautiful, to have my own brain kill it, um, was the hardest. So she turned to Josef Comer and Hans Luders, doctors at the Cleveland Clinic. We were able to determine that the seizures were coming from the right temporal law. Medicine did not stop them. Surgery could cut them out, but it was a big risk. Her music and the epilepsy might be in the same brain tissue. There's a very cool test that they do. They just anesthetize your right brain and talk to your left brain. See what it does. Um, and then switch. She's a musician, and rhythm, rhythmic memory is on the right side of the brain in the temporal loop. Or so doctors thought, but in her case... I didn't hear music with my right brain. Curtis's brain inexplicably had rewired her musical knowledge to the other side, away from the area that was causing her seizures. So doctors agreed to try a series of high-risk operations. The surgeon was horrified because he didn't want to do this and came in the night before the surgery with my MRI, my brain scan in one hand, to say, Martha, here is the piece. He showed me the piece I was asking him to take out. He said, here is your optic nerve, which is right next to it. He said, I could so easily blind you tomorrow. I said, don't do that. <laughs> so I went on to say, look, I'm here because you're really good. It's going to be OK. <laughs> so he pulled the next one. He, he showed me where, he said, look, right here is the bundle of blood vessels that feeds your entire right brain. I could so easily down your whole left side, paralyze your whole left side tomorrow. I'm thinking again, don't do that. <laughs> it's going to be OK. I'm here because you're really good. Now, people a lot of times look at me and say, I can't believe you had to coach your own surgeon. And I say, look, this was a person. This was a man with a knife in his hands. <laughs> and I needed him to be OK. I had been working on the perception of the world all my life. I needed him to perceive this was going to be OK. Steady hands, you know. <laughs> you, because I had a very strong sense that I had to stay involved in my own life to have a life I wanted to live. That's much is gone, and I no longer see. Life is not linear. That's one thing I really understood. It's not true. People all our lives say, if you do this, then this will happen. If you go to this school, then you're in with this. If you take these courses, etc. You know, if you marry this person, then this is going to happen. And, and we've all figured out by now this is not necessarily true. That it's a winding road. It's not a straight shot. And there's a lot of stuff that happens there. 
but, and I got, on that winding road, I got knocked down a lot of times. So I learned. All I had to do was simply redefine success every time I needed to. Think about it. There's no reason to leave the definition of success up to the rest of the world. Look into a mirror. You will see the most understanding eyes of the universe. You'll see the eyes that do know your story. They know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And then surround yourself with strong advocates. They are there. There are always people who will help. Then put something beautiful in your life. This is not a frill. Beauty is a human need. Trust your own thinking. I can't say that enough. Trust your own thinking. You were all born, we were all born, with everything we need to figure out what to do next. It's true.